Hey, I'm Del Shanzi, and uh, today we're gonna show you how to tighten your belt properly on a Vitarazzi Monster engine. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is know if the belt is loose or too tight. Most likely too loose, because uh, obviously as they wear sl slowly over time, they'll get looser, not tighter. So generally they'll be too loose, but there's an app you get on your phone that is called Tension To Go from Continental. Uh, pretty cool little app, check this out. We come right down here to the belt, and I hit start, and then Bingo. Just flicking the belt tells me the hertz that it's vibrating at. Right now it's vibrating at 320 hertz, which is too low. It should be at 430 to 450. So we need to bring this one up. While we're at it, we might as well do the others and just check the others here. And this is how we check the belt. So we start it again. We hit start and then just flick the belt. And this one's vibrating, oops, shut the app down, at 377 hertz. So it's also too low, as I would expect. And we got this one, start, and. This one's at 361 hertz. So all the belts are, are too uh, loose a little bit. Um, so we are going to tighten them. If you over tighten a belt, you can actually warp the whole crankshaft, causing catastrophic damage to your engine very bad. And if it's too loose, obviously it can uh, spin and uh, slip. And if it's slipping, again, you could damage your engine or burn the belt clean off. Both are not good. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna tighten them up to uh, between 430 and 450 hertz on the little thing. It's pretty cool you can check the tightness with your phone, whoever thought of that. Okay, here we go. Oh. And go, and you just need to loosen it. You don't need to like take it off. That's good. And the other wrench is the Allen wrench that comes in from the side. Go ahead and pop that one off, Troy. Hold on. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And then hold the center. Bingo. And loosening that one up. <laughs> Brought that one off. Okay. There, there you go. Now tighten it. Nope, loosen it just a smidge. Stop right there. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, that's way too loose. Tighten it just a little bit. Five fourteen. That's too tight. Loosen. Four oh one. Touch tighter. Four twenty-two, a touch tighter, just a smidge. Four forty-four, perfect. Don't move anything. All right, there. And now you can. Generally tighten it up when you do this. So now we got to check it one more time, and it probably will be a little bit tighter than it was when we started. Five seventeen. So now it's too tight. So now we got to loosen it. <laughs> so we got to make it. You got to start on the loose side because when you tighten the bolts, it does go tighter. So it's you do have a little bit of guesswork there. Four seventy four. So just a touch too tight. <laughs> so when we tighten it, we started at four oh nine this time. So we need to start at about three ninety. Okay. Okay, three twenty six. Three sixty three. There's 
380. Let's try it again. It's 380. Okay, let's try tightening that down. And this one. And 447, spot on, right at the high end, perfect. 447, now let's just tighten it down perfectly. Bingo, and get this one. I might tighten it just a touch more. Let's do it again. Four forty-seven. So that we got this one spot on, perfect. And that's how you tighten the belt on a Vitarazzi. Okay, Troy's turn. Let's do the next one. It is better to use the the socket wrench that goes over the top of that. We could probably get that. Well, this okay, is that loose? Off. Yeah. Bingo. And you take the air box off. Okay. Now you got to loosen the two bolts. Just loose, doesn't have to be dangling. And you could leave the wrench hanging from it. Well, there we go. Oh, that's my boy. And just loose and then flick that to the other direction. Don't un, yeah, don't, you know, all it has to do is loosen it. You don't have to go too loose. Okay. Yep, there you go. Okay, now here's the app. And remember, you gotta hold this side of the phone up to it because that's the microphone side. And then remember to hit start. You can let go of that until you start tensioning it. Two ninety-one. That's loose. Go too far. Will it stay if I let go? Yep. Should stay. You didn't hit start. <laughs> Gotta hit start. I did look 458. Oh, got it. Okay, so a little too tight. So we know to back it off to about 380, 390, because it's gonna tighten when we tighten the bolts down. Uh, that's probably good. A little loose. Well, that's probably good. Go ahead and tighten, tighten this one. Here, I'm going to help you on this one. Because this, I don't want you to strip it. Oh, oh, it just moved. Uh-oh. Dude, oh, better back it off again. Rain. Perfect. All right. Right there. Be very careful you don't jiggle anything when you do it. Remember to s switch your wrench. You don't need to loosen it all the way just so that it's loose. Let me finish that one. Does it need to be like? Um, you should use a torque wrench. I mean, I've been doing this a long time, so we got the Dell tight. But if you do it, you should use a torque wrench for sure. Four fifty-five. Close enough. <laughs> Just off by a tiny bit. All right, let me just. Okay, that's good. Mm, that's sorry, I'm right. And all right. And test it one more time, just to make sure it didn't move.
449. Perfect. Spot on. He got it even more perfect than I did. Very nice.